Hello and welcome back to the channel. Shortly you're going to see the results of Runway ML AI Suite used to generate animations for thumbnails in YouTube. I was interested to see what the technology could do using my limited skills with it. And spoiler alert, the results are very mixed, but very interesting as well, I think, and something that's got legs in the future. My main motivation was to help the video channel of Jack Petrie, who does movie reviews. And if you like what you see here, you're going to hear something now that you've probably never heard on the YouTube video before. If you like the video, please don't subscribe and like my channel, but go to his and give him a sub if you can. He's got a fantastic channel. It's growing. It's all about movies, movie reviews, old and new. And if you're here on this channel, that's probably the kind of thing you like as well. Uh, it's not getting the exposure that I think he deserves. And I'd love to give him a little surprise by getting him some subs. There's nearly two and a half thousand of you lovely subscribers here on this channel. If only one in 10 of you found the time to pop over there and drop him a sub, it giving 250 subs from the 64 he has at the moment be a massive surprise for him. Uh, it would make his day and mine too. So if he can do that, that would be absolutely wonderful. He's got a special birthday coming up and uh, I'm not going to insult him with money or gifts. Nobody wants that. But something like this would be a fantastic um, thing for him and, and for me too. So thank you. In any case, I'll probably be doing more experiments like this as well. So let's get into it, see what you make of the technology or my attempts to use it. And let's dive in. So here's his channel, the link at the top there in the corner. And as you can see, he's already got fantastic thumbnails, very professionally done on all his videos. Really eye-catching, fantastic stuff. What got me thinking about this was a video, which I'll also link in the corner here, uh, talking about a uh, shift in YouTube engagement with thumbnails becoming less important over time because people are more and more are using devices that show an auto preview. So you're not even seeing the thumbnail often, you're just seeing the first few seconds of the video. So my idea as a proof of concept was to animate the thumbnail and put that in at the beginning of videos uh, so that people using devices where they're seeing the auto preview rather than the actual thumbnail would be inspired to jump in and take a look at the uh, review if it was uh, sufficiently engaging. So the Runway ML Suite is the one I'm using, and we're looking at Gen 2. Gen 2 generates video using text, image, or both, and we're using both. I've done other videos on this if you're interested in a more detailed overview of how the technology works, or rather, how to use it. No idea how it works. But simply put, you've got a choice if you can upload a text, image, or image plus description. We're using image plus text. So there's one of his thumbnails, the Meg which as you can see, he did not think was a good film. I typed in, the man stays still, the shark and water move. You, you can have free accounts with these. You can actually try this yourself. I pay a monthly subscription to give me more time, more credits, but you can try this yourself for free. And I think it gives you quite a, quite a lot of credits as well. So you can experiment to, to quite a large degree without paying anything. There we are, and here's what it did with it. Okay, so this shows the problem. It's not good with faces, it's not good with likenesses, and it's actually not very good at following the instructions you give it. If you tell one thing to move, something else moves. If you tell it to keep one thing still, it often moves that anyway. So there's a big problem with consistency, or at least in the way I'm using it. It could be that other people are using prompts in a better way. Well, I'm sure that's the case, and they may be getting better results. But for me, it's just putting in simple prompts. It's not producing particularly good results. But let's try some more. Tried it on another of his videos, the latest Avatar film. And here are the four options that popped up. Yeah, so a lot of difficulties with consistency, a lot of weird facial movements going on, no real likeness to Jack or very little likeness. Maybe interesting to look at, but really quite disappointing for what we're trying to do here. So I tried something else, I tried Gen 1, and this takes video and uses text, image, or both to create new video. 
just click on generate video but go down to gen one video to video drop a video in or upload it or you have already got it in your assets whatever and i just use this first part of his actual review just 10 15 seconds so i was a little bit skeptical at first when james cameron said he had four additional sequels to that original avatar planned i think that movie worked very well on its own it concluded the whole story uh, and I would be very happy if that was the only avatar we ever had. Once you have your video uploaded, you then add a style reference, which again can be image, can be a prompt, uh, in order to inform the AI what you want to do with that video. So I took this image of Tonawari, hope I'm saying that right. The idea being that Jack would become Tonawari. Didn't quite work, but I think it's rather interesting anyway. See what you think. So I was a little bit sceptical at first when James Cameron said he had four additional sequels to that original Avatar planned. I think that movie worked very well on its own. It concluded the whole story uh, and I would be very... Yeah, so we have a Jack Tonawari hybrid. It's not there yet, but that'd be great at the beginning of a video, draw somebody in, even if he didn't do the whole review in that way. So I thought that was, we'll count that as a success, I think. And now several other of the thumbnails turn into animations. As far as I'm aware, AI can't currently cope with text. So if I was doing this properly, I'd have to remove the text. But since this was just a proof of concept, that I didn't bother doing it this time around. So enjoy, see what you think. And as I say, if you like this and you've got a moment, please do pop over to his channel, drop him a sub and make our day. And thanks for watching. I'll be doing more of this kind of stuff in the near future. Bye for now.